And well, guys, it seems that FSR 3.1 mods, at least the mods, of course, are now in beta testing. And it seems that once again, the FSR mods are better than the official implementations. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> and you might be thinking, well, this isn't possible. The official implementation made by a team of developers is actually worse quality wise than a mod made by one guy. But yeah, as you can see by this video passing right now on the screen that I made, uh, actually adding FSR 3 frame generation to Hellblade 2, you can see that a mod, the FSR 2.2 mod, was actually better in terms of quality, especially in terms of, of shimmering, uh, especially in terms of transparency and translucent objects. It was actually better than the official implementation, which was FSR 3.0, which means that the upscaler technology was FSR 2.2. So once again, the mod was better quality-wise than the official implementation in Hellblade. And it seems that once again, regarding the FSR 3.1 implementation, sorry, uh, yes, the mods are once again better. So I actually have some screenshots of the FSR 3 official implementation versus the, the FSR 3.1 mod because the beta testers actually sent them to me, which is great, by the way, thank you. Uh, and I also have some interesting things in Horizon Forbidden West uh, where we actually test the FSR 3.1 temporal upscaling versus the FSR 3.1 look FZ mod versus the FSR 2.1, yes, you heard that right, the 2.1, but using the FSR 3.1 reactive masks. And according to LookFZ, it seems that only a few, a very, very mild percentage of the game support reactive masks. But since we do have them in Horizon Forbidden West, we are testing once again, uh, we have some screenshots once again, of FSR 3.1 versus FSR 3.1 mod versus FSR 2.1 mod plus FSR 3.1 reactive masks, which is kind of a mix using the OptiScaler, I believe. And before analyzing this one, let's take a look at today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start with this image and I do advise you to actually, well, to actually do some kind of, some kind of zoom in or at least use the video in full screen in order for you to see the differences. So we start with, uh, with the left side here with a native FSR 3.1 implementation in Horizon Forbidden West, I believe. I believe this is Horizon Forbidden West. And then we have the Look FZ FSR 3.1 implementation on the right. And I do know that the screenshot does have lower quality or at least, yeah, the input quality is actually pretty low. I believe this is 4K performance mode, but the image quality or the screenshots are actually, yeah, pretty low quality. But as you can see, you can see on the left and you can see on the right that immediately the FSR 3.1 mod from LookFZ does retain more detail. If you look at the foliage, for example, here you can see that we have lots lots of detail compared to the FSR 3.1 official implementation that we kind of just have a, a blurred out mashup of colors. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how to, how to call it because if you look at it, I mean, it's just literally um, a color mashup kind of blurred out. We have the... Um, the darker green than the green, we have no no kind of detail whatsoever in here. While using the Look FZ 3.1 mod, we do have details of the foliage considerably more. For example, here on this side, we do have a bit of detail of the foliage, while with the official implement implementation, we have none. If you look, for example, at the, um, at kind of the flower that we have here, the purple flower, you can see that once again on the official side, we have no detail whatsoever, it's completely blurred out, while on the FSR 3.1 mod we do have a bit more detail. Of course, we have a way more pixelation, that's how it is. Uh, this is like alchemy, you, you have to trade something for another, you can't just create it. Uh, but at the same time, yes, it does retain much more information. Same for the foliage here in the background, and especially for the trees that you see here, if you look at the foliage on the trees, you can see that with the FSR 3.1 official mod, we have no 
information whatsoever. It's, it is just completely blurred out. And remember, these are both running 4K performance, while the one with the Look FZ 3.1 mod, we do have a lot more information retained, which shows how much superior the Look FZ mod is in this exact scenario. Take this with a grain of salt, of course, because I did not test it myself, but I will in some days. But I do believe it can actually be true because I tested it with Hellblade 2 and once again the mod was better than the official implementation, so yeah. Now we have three scenarios with the native FSR 3.1, the modded FSR 2.1, yes, 2.1, with the reactive masks from FSR 3.1 and the normal FSR 2.1, all of them side by side. So once again, we have FSR 3.1 native, we have FSR 2.1 with FSR 3.1 reactive masks, and I don't really know the coding behind that, but generally it looks better. And then we have the native FSR 2.1, or at least uh, the native was FSR 2.2, so modded FSR 2.1. And as you can see, as soon as you look at the FSR 3.1 native, and we saw that in my video passing right now on the screen where I tested native TAA versus the FSR 2.1 versus 2.2 versus 3.1, uh, and the LSS and XCSS included as well. And you can see that uh, FSR 3.1 does bring more temporal stability, especially in Horizon Forbidden West, but at the same time, it does introduce a lot more ghosting. And that's exactly what we see here, for example. If you look at this part, you can actually see kind of a double blade. You see the, the main blade here, and then you see a trailing ghost of the blade, which seems kind of a double blade, and then we have a bit more pixelation here and so on. Now, I tested in terms of pixelation or stability, and even in movement, FSR 3.1 was considerably better than the FSR 2.2 that we had there. But since the FSR 2.1 mod is actually better than the FSR 2.2 regarding that, it seems that we do have uh, an interesting scenario here. So once again, lots of ghosting with the official FSR 3.1 implementation. With FSR 2.1 mod, but with FSR 3.1 reactive masks, we actually have a bit more detail in the blade. And we have way less ghosting, as you can see here. It is kind of a double blade. We can see the ghosting here as well in this mod, but not as bad. Uh, although if you look at the FSR 2.1 mod, which once again is better than the official implementation generally, you can see that in terms of fine detail in Alloy's hair, we actually have way less fine detail. So look at the FSR 3.1 for example, and look at um, the braids, I believe that's how it's pronounced or called, the braids in her hair, and you can see that with FSR 3.1 official implementation, we do have a lot more detail and way less pixelation than with the FSR 2.1 mod. So here we have basically no detail. With the FSR 2.1 with 3.1 reactive masks, we do have more detail, and if, if we compare the, the 2.1 versus the 2.1 with FSR 3.1 reactive masks, we also have a lot less pixelation. We have a bit more here, for example, but around the alloy's body, we do have less pixelation in terms of the translucent or transparent uh, pixels. So you can look at it for here, for example, sorry, and here. So it's considerably better with FSR 3 reactive masks. FSR 3.1 does bring better case scenarios overall, but generally it does bring more disocclusion problems. Uh, and if we look, for example, in, at the trees in the background, I don't know if this is the same exact shot. It doesn't look like it, but still, if you look at it, yeah. FSR 2.1 with 3.1 reactive masks and FSR 2.1 do retain more detail in the foliage as well. And yeah, that's what we can see here. Less motion blur and more foliage detail, which is nice. And this is another example that we have with the official FSR 3.1 implementation versus the 2.1 with the 3.1 reactive masks. Once again, the first thing that you need to look at is the foliage. As soon as you look at the foliage in the ground with FSR 3.1 native, and in this case, alloy is not moving, and if alloy is not moving, it means that um, the, the image should be uh, accurate, at least comparison-wise, since alloy is just there, standing still there. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, the difference is just massive, uh, and we can see, definitely, we can see the foliage, 
perfectly, of course, but as soon as we go to the FSR 2.1 with the FSR 3.1 reactive masks, the foliage is just much, much cleaner. It is much sharper, much cleaner, and overall it just retains more information and looks much better. If you look at it and compare it, it's like day and night. And the same applies for here, for the background foliage as well. If you look at the FSR 3.1 native and the FSR 2.1 plus 3.1 mod, the differences are just insane. Even if you look at Eloy's body, the differences are still there. For example, look at her, at her quiver. We can see that the FSR 2.1 plus 3.1 mod has actually uh, way more sharpness. If you look at these letters here or these the stitches that we have here, they look much, much sharper and much better with the FSR 2.1 plus 3.1 mod. I mean, I guess it is a win-win situation in this scenario. In some scenarios, uh, the mod might actually work worse than the official implementation, but in these scenarios, yeah, overall it just works much better. Once again, I believe this is using OptiScaler, kind of doing a mashup in between the FSR 2.1 mod plus, once again, the FSR 3.1 reactive masks. And if you know what are reactive masks and if they work in lots of games or not, just leave your comment in the comment section and let me know, because I really want to know as well. And the final screenshot that we have is once again with the native FSR 3.1 versus FSR 2.1 plus reactive masks of FSR 3.1, and this difference is just insane. The difference is just insane here. It's, it's, once again, it's like day and night. If you look at the foliage in the trees, if you look at the leaves, the difference is just insane. For example, with FSR 3.1, we have lots of blurred out pixels, kind of this occlusion effects or kind of motion blur artifacts. Even the leaves aren't entirely sharpened. They are kind of hard to look at because once again, they're just kind of blurred out with no information whatsoever. I mean, it's a complete mess up if we actually zoom in like we did here. If you look at the leaves with the mod, they are much, much better. It kind of seems like a completely different image in terms of quality, in terms of, of aliasing, in terms of this occlusion, or in this case occlusion, it just looks much, much better. Uh, even the color difference, even the, the depth, of the, um, of the foliage is entirely different, meaning that uh, the FSR 2.1 plus 3.1 mod is able to retain much more information than the FSR 3.1 official implementation. I mean, look at this side, for example, here, in this branch versus the, the same branch with FSR 3.1 official. It's, it's day and night once again, so pff, yeah. I don't even know what to say, but I'm really eager to test the FSR 3.1 mods and to see how much better they are compared to the official implementation in games like Ghost of Tsushima and so on. I really, really want to know. And well, guys, that's all for today's small video. Really hope you enjoyed the differences. And once again, I'll be testing very, very soon this mod. As soon as Luke FZ releases uh, the mod in like two or three days, I'll be testing it versus the, the official mods like I did with Hellblade 2 as well. Once again, passing right now on the screen. And as the Hellblade mod was better than the official implementation, and as we can see in the screenshots that I've been showing across the video, it indeed seems that once again, the mods surpassed the official implementation in terms of quality. Now, in two or three days, we'll be sure of that. But for now, it seems that in some scenarios, once again, especially the foliage, the mods look much better than the official implementation, especially if you're kind of doing a a mashup in between or kind of merging the FSR 2.1 with a, with a 3.1 reactive masks, it looks even better. So, I mean, I do have to try OptiScaler. It seems like it is working fine. Very, very fine. Thank you one more time for watching. Don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the differences because in some parts they are actually pretty big. And thank you for watching. That's all I can say. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Oh,